blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure access control list to secure the vty interface so remember it's the vty interface that we use to remotely access networking device so we are going to use uh, access control list to create the policy of uh, restricting or allowing uh, specific traffic so we're going to uh, use access control list to restrict the access to the networking devices right okay so when i open google spreadsheet i uh, i let you know that today is number 12 scl4 vty remote access on the route okay all right so i'll open our google notepad again to uh the little steps that we're going to follow to achieve this objective so the first step is always to draw the necessary topology, decorate and comment. So when you see this topology here, I have a router here that we want to remotely access. Okay? We want to remotely access this router here. Okay? okay? All right. So I'll just write here. That is remotely accessed. All right? So we don't want every device in the network to access this router. That's why we need to restrict the access to that router, right? Okay, so just make sure that you're using 2911 router and 2960 switches. And uh, although we have one LAN here, this is just one LAN uh, under one network, okay? and uh, we have two computers under it department two computers under HR. okay all right so when i go back uh, on the on the notepad the second step is to configure ip address to the router and the host so i've already done that so this is gig gig01 so gig01 i've configured uh, you can see gig01 it's 10 1 and 2 168 10.1 okay and it will hack as the default gateway of all these computers okay so for the computers you can see i have labeled ip addresses on uh, on the comment section you can see here right okay so that's done so the second step configure remote access on the router and test ssh from both the from uh, any of the departments okay okay so when we need to configure remote access here so to configure remote access, I want to configure SSH actually. So I uh, will just exit. The first, the first step to configure SSH is always to um, you configure the host name of that device first. Okay. All right. So host name, just say host name. Host name, let's say R1. Okay. Then after configuring host name, you need to specify the domain name. Okay. For example, let's say, just say IP domain name to configure ssh ip domain name domain name to be uh domain name to be uh let's say gtip.com and do it end okay make sure you configure host name then domain name after domain name create username and password remember we're going to access the uh the router using the username and password just say username uh username let's say cisco and password of uh, also Cisco okay all right after specifying the host name the domain name and the username and password now you can start generating crypto keys so you just say crypto key generate key generated RSA okay then you hit enter then it will ask you how many bits just say 1024 okay and you hit enter now you can see SSH is enabled okay all right so when you go down we've configured a remote access using ssh so ssh has been enabled here so it's the time that we put ssh to the vty interface we put a vector i mean we put the ssh configuration on the vty interface so that uh anyone who tries to uh access vty interface can either use ssh or telnet so we just say line uh, VTY 0 to 15 or 0 to 4 is whichever 0 to 15 then you just say uh, login 
login local to use the local database what i mean is that it will use username and password here the local database okay, okay. then transport input let's query transport input all none SSH or telnet. In this case, I want to use SSH, just say SSH, hit enter and exit and do right. So, guys, we are done with the third step and we're being told to configure remote access and test. All right, so we're going to test if we can remotely access this router from either of the departments. Okay, let's try from this department. Come to CMD, just say, then uh, SSH, hyphen L, that's letter L, then the username was Cisco, and uh, the IP address of the router, which IP address of the router is 10, 10, 1.2.168.10.1, okay, alright, so we just say 1.2.168.10.1, and we hit enter, you can see we're being asked password, the password was also Cisco, and we are, we are, successfully logged in in the route okay although we forgot to configure enable password so if you can just go here very very fast and we config enable password enable password to be cisco also all right so when we come back here and we say enable now we get password in cisco and now we are in router one okay so let's try from hr department do the same for hr department we just say SSH, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. So we just say SSH, iPhone L. Then we give the use the username of Cisco, and IP address one and two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one. Okay, the password is Cisco. Now we are in error one. Cisco still. All right, so we have successfully uh, accessed uh, the router remotely from IT and the HR department. So there's one situation whereby we only remotely access the router from the two guys. These guys are not responsible for configuration. It's only these two guys, okay? So that's why we need to implement access control list on the VTY interface. So it's very, very simple. We just create a simple standard access control list and how do we do that we just say access access list uh let's say 20 i permit then we query query we just need a specific host we just say host host permit host uh, 182.168.10.10 then the query there's nothing we just hit enter another host that we want to permit is dot 20 okay then now we just send this dot 20 right then access list 20 deny any okay because we only want to permit the two guys and denying any other ip all right so we have successfully configured access control list okay so let's bind them to the vty interface so bind them to the vty interface so that we can test ssh again all right so we just say line vty 0 to 15 okay then we say uh ip access i access class 20 the one that you created okay then we say in oops ip uh -huh. let me query sorry just say access access uh access class 20 okay then we say in we do we omit uh, ip ip access we just say i access class 20 then we say in and we hit enter exit and do right so if you can just say do show start uh do show start do show start uh huh you can see you can see this is the access control list policies that we have created, okay? And you can see very well that it has been applied on the VTY interface. Interface, I mean, access class 20 in, access class 20 in. So let's go back to 
this router that we tried to search again and we just say exit all right so uh, if i can just do it again and we just say yes i can just cisco enable cisco right from a tpc2 we can try that on hrpc and exit this was hr the first time it was all successful so let's do it again remote connection refused by remote host it will never work because we have configured access control is to protect the device from remote access so guys basically it's very very simple the one that i've said create the policies and apply them to the vty interface and through that we've successfully achieved uh access control is for vty access configuration so let's well when you meet next guys we're going to start on NAT. doing static dynamic and part so thank you so much guys please subscribe to this channel like this video share with friends and let me know whether you have a comment or doubt below bye and see you again in the next class